Hello and welcome to our quick view training on the new Business Objects Based Data Dashboard at Southwestern College. In this brief overview, we will touch on the main features of the new software and demonstrate how you can get helpful information out of the board for your use. We are currently updating our campus website and will include links directly to the dashboard, but if you can't find an active link, you can directly enter this URL, http colon slash slash croaapp.swccd.edu colon 8080 slash boe slash bi in your Internet Explorer address bar. Note that while other browsers may initially launch business objects, you will eventually get errors if you are not using Internet Explorer. The Data Dashboard is an internal resource, meaning you must be on campus using a computer network into our system in order to access it. You cannot access the Data Dashboard from home. Depending on the setup of your computer system, you may need to sign in twice, once into the network and once into Business Object itself. Use your normal SWC computer system login ID and password to sign into both systems. When the transition is complete, you will be able to access the dashboard directly through our single sign-on, MySWC. When you are successfully logged in, you will land on the Documents page of Business Objects with the Program Review Reports folder opened automatically. The list of documents shown in the main screen contains the 21 separate reports that mirror the data that was found in our old iStrategy data dashboard. The names are self-descriptive, such as age and opening day, census, and end of term, or grades by course. Some of these documents contain multiple pages, others will have only a single page of data. These reports are filterable and interactive, so you can drill down to get the information you seek. To open a report, double-click on the report title, and the report interface will open up with the data shown in the main viewing area. Let's take a moment to examine the key controls and functions of this interface. As mentioned earlier, some reports have multiple pages. You can switch between pages either by clicking on the tabs in the bottom of the viewing area, or by using the navigation map and clicking on the report title there. Many reports have graphs automatically created, and all have at least one data table provided. Links in the reports that are shown in blue and underlined text are drill down points. You can click on that drill down link to shift from an academic year view to an academic term view. Clicking on the drill up link will return you to the academic year view. You can also use the filter bar drop down at the top of the view area to narrow down the focus of the report to a single year if you wish. Selecting All in the drop-down menu will return you to the full report view. The system provides you with the age of the data. Reports can be updated by user action. If you look in the lower right corner of the report view area, you will see the last time the data was updated. In this case, the data is 22 days old. You can refresh to get the most recent data by clicking on the blue refresh icon at the bottom or top of the screen. If any query option pop-ups appear, just click Next and OK to continue. The update may take a few minutes depending on the report as the system is working through a lot of raw data. When the screen clears, you will see that the data is now only a minute old. Historic data is unlikely to change in these updates, but the data for the most current term may change slightly as additional data might have been entered into colleagues since the last update. Now that you have a fresh report, how can you make use of it? Well, you can save a copy of the report in your own directory of business objects if you wish by clicking on the file Save As icon in the upper left of the screen. A better option, however, is to save the report externally so that you can use it and the data outside of business objects. To export the report, click on the export button. It looks like a hard drive with a bent arrow pointing out and away from its top. You have two decisions to make when exporting. What data do you wish to export and in what format do you want the information? There are three data export options. Exporting all of the pages in a multiple page report by selecting export document as option, exporting only the current page shown in the report viewing area by choosing export current report as, 
or finally exporting the raw data as a comma separated value CSV text document for import into a local database or spreadsheet. We will focus on the first two options as they're the most frequently used. Once you determine what you wish to export, you need to select the desired output format. Your choices for reports are PDF, Old or New Excel, that's the .xls or .xlsx, CSV Archive, or Text. Again, for most users, the top two choices are PDF, if the report is to be included in an existing report as an attachment, or Excel, if the data table or graphic will be copied and pasted into something like a Word document, or if you want to run your own analysis on the data table information in the spreadsheet. A couple of points on export. Drill down links do not function in PDF or Excel downloads. While they still look like links, the underlying data was not downloaded in the export, so there is nothing for them to drill down into. In the Excel download, data tables come across nicely, but any graphic is disassociated from the data and exported as a static image. The image can be copied and pasted elsewhere, but unlike what you saw in the data dashboard, changes to the data table will not be reflected in the graphic. What this means in a practical sense is that if you want multiple views of a given report expressed as graphics, you'll need to make your filter selections in the dashboard, export that image of the graphic, reset your filters, export again under a new name, and repeat as necessary. That way you'll have a complete gallery of images that you'll need for your reports. To shift from one report to another, you can either close the current report tab by clicking on the X icon, or just leave it open and click on the documents tab to choose another report, which will open in a new tab. If you know you're going to frequently refer to a given report, you can pin it to your screen with the pin icon in the tab. That way, each time you enter business objects, the report will be open and waiting for you. Once you have finished with the data dashboard, simply click out using the log out button in the upper right of the screen. We hope this brief flyover of the new dashboard has been useful. In the event you need help with any of the specifics, please feel free to put in a right now IT help ticket or assistance. Enjoy the data.